thoughts on the big woman so a lot of people have had a lot to say about the big lady in this game there's been a lot of interesting discussion that has happened uh interesting and thought-provoking discussion that has been spread around the internet over the past 24 to 48 hours around the, the big vampire lady the eight foot tall vampire woman and while i can definitely echo some of the feelings that some people have towards this character i have a very distinct opinion regarding the way this character looks and what they represent and how they sound and how it essentially changes the tone of resident evil in so many ways what i'm trying to say chat is i feel a certain way about this character that while i can agree with some of you feel that feel your way it's very different from me so what i'm trying to get at is one huge topic right there's there is a very specific thing uh that nobody's actually saying about this character and what it means going forward especially for the resident evil series and it kind of bums me out because I was hoping that Resident Evil wouldn't take this approach eventually, but it seems like they are. And while it's embarrassing, it's shocking, it's disgusting, but it's also nurturing and beautiful and 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 mournful at the same time. It's something that deserves to be sp sp talk, spoken about, right? I, I don't think I should be saying this in front of a large forum of people, um, but I'm confident that what I'm saying is going to is going to bring the thing that needs to happen which is actual change we need we need things to change here we need things to go through the process right this character needs to be exposed and we need to have everyone know what the hell she represents and how she looks and for everyone to eventually feel and come to these conclusions and as long as we can all come to that conclusion as long as we can all feel that way about this character eventually then we're going to be okay right i feel like I feel like getting my personal opinion out there is about the most important thing I can do. And I'm going to do my best to make sure that change happens by very distinctly telling you exactly how I feel. All right. So apparently this is not going to be the only uh, individual demo, right? Apparently there is going to be a, a proper true gameplay demo that will be available at some point this is like a graphical showcase from what the devs were sort of explaining my damn r to look wait what is that just right stick to look so in, in, immediately, I have a big problem. Uh, it's not the camera's speed. The camera's sensitivity is very slow, right? Um, let's turn that off. Like when you move the camera around, it has a noticeable delay between you looking like left and right, and it has to actually like catch up. So already, we already have problems. Is there any way to change that? Turn camera acceleration off. Oh yeah, that's much better. There we go. Huh? Old scrap of paper buried on the wall. I think someone left a message. Click it. I can't read shit. What? To whomever this is trying to escape this place, I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, but you will have to trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of this cell. Look around. Uh, look around for the way. Get on your hands and knees if you must. Then search for the thing you'll need to escape. It'll be hidden, or they least suspect, soaked in blood. This sounds like me describing something. Um, very indescript. Once you get out of the dungeon, you shouldn't- you should find yourself in a room, the door- This is- this is all spoilers! Jesus! Freaking thing is spoiling me! Get the hell out of here, game! Come on! 
Oh. I'm stuck. Hmm. That looks delicious. Oh. It's got some very crunchy sound effects. Hold on a sec, Chad. I'm going to give him a blast you with audio. You're going to hear everything I hear. So, my question is, how many dummy fingers are in this demo? How many? Yo, holy crap, Nartmar, thanks for the 50 bucks, dude. I appreciate it. Oh, that opened. How many dummy fingers? Can possibly be around here. Uh, there's got to be a dummy finger or two. People were able to crack open. Oh my god. People were able to crack open that old Resident Evil 7 demo. I only imagine... That was gross. This guy's having a great day. Dude, even, like, the blood splatter looks like Bloodborne shit. Yes, throw, use the paper on it. Seems like a great idea. Medicines for keeping livestock alive. Is this a bit of the old blood? Is that what's going on? Is that how she got so tall? Okay, something just opened up. Oh, hi. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop clicking it. Where are you? The Tower of London? Yes. Oh, who the hell? Oh, my. You fell over! Oh, she fell over. Oh, my God. And revealed the bolt cutters. Ew. Okay. Ah, shit! Stop that! Okay. 
Okay. We definitely got some reused assets, and there's nothing wrong with that, chat. There's nothing wrong with that. Damn, now I want to play Bloodborne. This is just Bloodborne first-person simulator. That's really what it is. Huh? What the fuck? Wonderful sound effect. <laughs> Not everything is fu everything is fucking Bloodborne. Are you shitting me? Do you not have eyes? I mean, I understand, right? If you're just listening to this, you might not see uh, the Bloodborne influence. You might not. Uh, but if you do have eyes... That is true. It was just one guy. I'm going to be pretty happy if the PS5 uh, runs the game like this. I'm going to be even happier. be even happier what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck get in there I'm gonna be in here where the fuck it is it's in here I'm gonna be very happy if this game comes out on PC and it supports 120 or higher FPS's that'll be great holy shit why did I come in here of lighting Capcom. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see if he's still screaming. Holy shit. Not screaming no more. Hello? All right. You know what? The the environmental lighting when you don't just have the flashlight is pretty dope. Is there a dude in there? Hello? Hello?
Oh, this is great. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna play this game so fucking slow. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna play this game so slow, it's gonna blow your mind. When this shit comes out, I'm gonna play it the slowest anyone's ever played it. This stinks so bad. It's a woman. This, there's definitely gonna be some areas in this demo where you can like click on shit and have it, have it like function without or very limited on screen display stuff, you know? Nice. Like, there's definitely gonna be moments just like in the old RE7 demo where you really gotta look around for shit. Uh, to get the actual prompts to show up. There is a 180. Nice. Okay. That's right. This 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 game technically controls exactly like an old Resident Evil still. That was the thing I always liked about Resident Evil 7 was that RE7 pretty much controls like Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. You know? Like the exact same functionality. Except from a different perspective. The hell? I had a funny... This is a dungeon, all right. Damn, this reminds me when Evelyn shows up at the end of RE7. You realize it's her. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. 1958, holy shit. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And tonight I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I wanna go home. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner so I opened the window just a crack. And they said to shut it now. They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. Itchy tasty. Ew. Ah. Good ol' yellow marked areas. Okay. What is making... What? Is it literally raining blood over here? Dude, what the hell is going on? Don't, don't kill me. Oh. 
It's just a crow from Bloodborne. That's fine. This is going to be the big face reveal and nothing. All oh, crows originated from Bloodborne. That's where crows were first invented. Yes, I also can type things that are very obviously true. What a mansion. Just slightly ostentatious, right? Everything's laced in gold. Opulence, the location. Let me go back and look at the other painting. Look at all this fucking opulence. Wait. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Necklace of animal bones used to ward away evil. Taken from me when I was thrown in that dungeon. What? Is this the same painting? Oh, it is. Okay. Resident Evil. Opulence. Okay, well, I can't go in there. Yo, damn. That reveal, though. I like it. Me likey. Very much looking forward to Roman these halls. Damn, that is not the creepiest picture ever. Close that shit. What? I'll take 10. Yes. Yes. Put this, put this in a pipe and I'm going to smoke it, right? If I can possibly get a vape of this shit, can I get it in a vape flavor of some kind? Resident Evil Atmosphere Vape so I can vape it live on stream? I'll do it. Just give it to me right now. I'll take it. Master masterfully executed atmospheric presence in a video game. Just give me that into a liquid form and then give me it in a vape and we should be good. What the fuck? I don't like this door. I don't like this door. These are the kind of areas in Resident Evil 7 that you'd have to look at to actually find some of the interactable uh, thingamajigs. Or this very specific looking clock. I'm gonna click on the door. One eye is just an empty socket. Okay. 
Yeah, the Resident Evil engine is really showing how customizable it is because now we have two games. Uh, a very large scale Monster Hunter game with very complicated characters, you know, and animations. Now demonstrating on quite, spe quite specifically very low end hardware with the Switch. What it's what it can actually do and Monster Hunter all things considered is pretty crazy that it runs that good on that system and in the same like time frame now we're seeing what the latest version of the RE engine can do uh with a lot of the next gen fidelity features and this is some this is some beautiful environmental work oh this totally looks like some Resident Evil ass Resident Evil puzzle over there. The good part about all that is that it means that the RE engine is dramatically scalable, right? And that's all you could ask for is is a is an engine to make a game. Is somebody in that fireplace? Holy shit, I can't even tell. Is a game engine that is scalable in some way. Wind's deep down. Ha! <laughs> What did Deep Down eventually end up becoming? It's got some, my, maybe some Monster Hunter world in there. Okay, not much to do up here. the RE engine good for modding? You'd have to ask the people that make mods for Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. I do not know. Yeah, you know what? You know what this should be doing? This should be getting you hype as fuck for a potential RE... <laughs> this should be getting you very excited for a potential RE4 remake in the future when the technology gets even better. These are the weird areas you have to check. Yeah, Deep Down's engine eventually got utilized over to RE engine. That's pretty much what happened. Dude, I love the musical cues when you come across something. These are like the clothes I'm wearing. <laughs> Will RE4 be in first person? I s sincerely hope not. Right? I sincerely hope. It would not be. This is not Ethan. It's it's another it's it's Maiden, right? I think it's it's a it's a lady that has escaped the uh the 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 dungeon. Oh my. Just a boot. Very detailed. Was that lipstick on it? It was. Jesus, that's a big ass lip. That's a big ass lip. Damn. Okay. What? Oh my god, I can't wait for this fucking game to come out. 
Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait. Look at this shit, dude. Feel like you're at Disneyland or some shit. It's fantastic. How does it look on your end, chat? Trash! Does it look okay? I'm do- we're definitely doing the PC release. Yeah, I mean, I- I 100%. Even though this does look great, uh, I am... If the option to get the game on PC is there, you know me, dude. I'm- I'm gonna get the- I'm gonna get the- the best, highest fidelity version. Is it Chalice? That is some... This is some shit. Damn. 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 Okay. Damn. Oh, that's creepy as hell. It's always looking at you. Beautiful. That's cool. That's wonderful. That's fantastic. Okay. Let's look at the paintings really quick. Hold on a second. Yeah, that'd be fine, right? That'd be fine. This is making me really want to play RE7 again. No shit. It's making me want to, like, crank RE7 up and make it look damn good. I just noticed the blood on the floor. Oh, shit. the slowest run in human history. What? What? Huh? Hello? Dude, those are the sound of my feet echoing around the 3D audio in the area. That's crazy. Look at this hallway. Look at the hallway. Look at it. This is also ray tracing enabled. I'm not as much a, uh, a big Defense Force member of ray tracing. I sometimes think normal baked-in lighting can have a, a, sometimes a better visual identity to a game than uh, just ray tracing everything, you know? Ray tracing definitely has a more natural look, but similar to movies and everything that you see that actually has lighting in it, right? Like really good lighting. That's not natural at all. Like, lighting... There is no ray tracing here? You guys are gonna have to get your shit... Get, get your shit. Let me know if this is actually ray tracing enabled or not. Either way, it looks great. I'm just going back and looking around. I just realized there's dresses in here. They did not say anything about ray tracing. Well, you would you would think that if it did have ray tracing, they'd be throwing that all over the marketing materials, right? 
it'd be all over the damn place. It still looks damn good. There's a breeze in here. The winemaking techniques of Castrol of Castle Dimitrisu. Dimitrisu? Can be traced back as far as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrisu. Dimitrisu? Uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Dimitrisu. I think that's what it is, yeah. Her best vintage is Sangui Virginis. Virginis. Meaning maiden's blood. It's kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Damn, dude. They made a game about Capcom's CEO? That's crazy. These are all devs. 100% these are all devs. What the, I missed something? Nice skulls. Right, but what the... Huh? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh my. So I haven't used the necklace yet on anything. Wonder what the hell that's for. Yeah, do I get the dummy finger? Maybe if I don't move. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. 
<laughs> no! No, 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 touchy! Ouch. From the top? No, it's actually not from the top. No, it's not. Uh... Oh, what the hell's the necklace? Oh, oh, I gotta go back for the necklace. Oh, shit. Yoink. Let me just do something about this really fast. Hold on a second. Yeah, I don't know exactly what it does, right? It says what it does, but like how it engages action. I don't know, no. This is a little too fast. Click on these pants? No. Yeah, I am sprinting right now. This is the sprint. Wow. <laughs> What's happening? That was cool. Okay. Okay, I'm running downstairs now. We're gonna run straight past her into the courtyard. I'm going the wrong way. I'm watching you. Okay. Just don't go over there. I won't last until dinner. <laughs> Juked! Juked! Oh god, no! Juked! Ow! Sweet Jesus! How's it feel? Running! Uh. Uh, what? Uh. So we finally meet. <laughs> Holy shit!
Wow. I like it. Right? I definitely... Yes, yeah, see some Lady Deathstrike shit. I definitely like it. She has a tyrant hand. I mean, it could be a large variety of things. Yeah, I, I think the idea is that they only really have so much time to pump out a demo. Demos are hard to make, dude. Because you have to playtest them. Uh, so they did some very specific demoing for this just to show the game off because they i think they were aware that you know we we kind of showed you a very small bit of this game a long time ago it's been like six months right since this game was announced it's nice to at least get something yeah a, a visual showcase uh it's my hope that within the next couple months we actually get a true demo right because they did say that there will be an actual gameplay demo, right? Something that involves shooting or something of the like. Resident Evil is a, is a game and a series that depends so much on interesting environments, atmosphere, and characters, you know? Like those three things in tandem with each other have made Resident Evil games Resident Evil games since the very beginning of it all. And I can almost say without a doubt, right? that this very much, this really, right? I, I, what this feels like is a, is a lot more confident version of RE7 because RE7, they clearly didn't know if this was the direction that, that taking the series would be great with, right? There's definitely a lot of ambition, but sometimes there's a lack of confidence in what's going on with RE7, but it still hits very well and eventually ended up selling great too. So people really like this new version and new vision of where Resident Evil can go since, you know, three, three main, main series games were uh, Static Camera and then Over the Shoulder for three games and now potentially three more games that are going to be first person. The first person RE games are scarier than the first three games. I think they are technically scarier, but at the same time, I don't think it's because of it being first person. What I'm trying to say is that RE8 feels like a much more confident version of uh, Resident Evil 7, right? Where they're like, oh, people like this shit? Let's go crazy. Let's, let's start getting nutty with this. And you can really start seeing that in some of the other elements where they're just like, we're just gonna have some fucking fun with how, with how crazy and nutty this can get. Yeah, I think it's really good. I definitely want more. I feel like I'm, I feel like I definitely want more.